In this lesson of light, we are going to explore the primary and secondary colors of light. Okay, this is an interesting picture. Okay, you see that there are three lights, blue, green, and red. But yet, you don't see anything of blue, green, and red over here. Instead, you see a white, and then you have some uh, light blue color, uh, some sort of purple color, and yellow color shadow over here. Can you explain why is that so? Okay, we are going to go into this topic. When you open up a PowerPoint and try to have a color box or something, you find that sometimes you can actually custom your color and you see all this color panel. Of course, you can choose the color from here. Okay, but essentially, you find that there are three. There's this RGB thing, and then there's this red, green, and blue, and there's some numbers. So actually, the primary colors of lights are red, green, and blue. And of course, the short form for this is RGB. When you have full brightness of red, green, and blue light, which is represented by these three numbers, 255, 255, and 255, you find that the color is actually white. And that is the primary colors of light. Second colors of light means that there's actually just mixing of only two of the primary color lights. Namely, if you have red plus green, red and green, you have yellow. If you red plus blue, you have a color called magenta. You have blue plus green, you have a color called cyan. So these three colors are known as the secondary colors of light where you mix two of it. Let's just verify it. Okay, this circle is not white color, as explained. It is actually a combination of red, green, and blue. Okay, what if we remove one of it to zero? You find that the new color would be yellow. So, we go back to 255 again. And this time around, we remove green. You realize that this is magenta. Or this time around, if we remove red, you'll find that it's cyan. So actually, this shows you that uh, if you remove one of the col uh, primary colors, you will have yellow, magenta, and cyan. So do remember this combination. What about other different colors? Each primary color, as I mentioned, has 256 level of brightness, so from 0 to 255. Through different combination of brightness of the RGB, we get a different color. Let's see a demonstration. So again, R, G, and B. So you have different levels, okay, or you have maximum level, you find that this person will see that as white. So a person sees this as white is not because there's white light but rather it's a combination of all these three lights. Similarly when you see a person sees a magenta it's because there's red light and blue light shining on the person's eye. Or you can see that you see a yellow light and it's because there's a combination of red and green light. So if you have a different color you actually adjust differently of blue and green and red, you find that you get a different shade of color. So this is not uh, magenta, but rather it's slightly purple. But you have different levels of brightness of the uh, R, G, and B. You get a different color. So let's just use some examples. Black, gray, and orange. If you want to get black, that means that actually it's just simply no light. So what you need to do is set 0 for all of the green blue and red. So you find that it will be black. So what will be grey then? You find that grey is actually nothing more than just a darker white. So if white is the maximum level, grey is somewhat just in between. So you find that if you have equal values of R, G, and B, you'll be slightly dark. 
darker okay a darker gray and of course a very dark gray as you can see over here okay now next if we want to see orange you find that it's just a different number of 255 126 and 29 so each different combination of the number actually represent a different color by changing the different colors that you want you are actually you changing just the numbers that's what it means so how many different colors can we get and if each color has 256 different brightness level can you calculate how many different combinations of color do you get so the number of combinations is actually simply just 256 times 256 times 256 which is about 16.7 million different shades of colors okay the idea is actually very simple you have 256 level you have 256 level and then each different subset has different uh, 256 and you have another 256 over here and this was yeah but think in terms of like it's like a cube where you have 256 colors multiplied by 256 colors you have a certain combination then you multiply another 256 uh, in the this axis so it's like finding a cube but of course you have more levels of different brightness of RGB you can have more shades of color even more than 16.7 so coming back to this picture can you right now explain how do we get this three shadows well of cyan, magenta, in the, and yellow over at the board over there? And we, why is there a white background? Okay, so think about it. So this is a summary picture. And this is acknowledgement. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteacherswordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.